This is a video specifically for making a pile of these bouffant style scrub caps. If you're looking for the regular bouffant style scrub cap video, go to the link in the description. This video flies through all the regular sewing tips and just focuses on doing things faster. Now that I've made a couple of batches, I've come up with some time savers to move sewing these along. Some are straightforward, just doing a given step for all the pieces at the same time, but some are things I figured out after doing something the long way, way too many times. Okay, here we go. Of course, wash, dry, and iron your fabric. All you need to do is iron it enough so it doesn't have any hard folds. Get the cat out of the way. My consultant, once again, being helpful by helpfully helping. All right, now cut out a bunch of the side pieces next to each other. Count them up and with probably a different piece of fabric, fold the fabric the other way, just tall enough to accommodate the half circle and cut the cap tops. Then fold the fabric again to accommodate the half circle and just keep going until you've got enough tops to match your sides. Save the larger scraps, they can be useful for masks. If you don't have elastic or ribbon anymore, like me at this point, stop here and go and make yourself a big old pile of bias tape. A link to my tutorial is in the description. Now it's time to draw the lines. I found a ballpoint pen is perfect. It doesn't bleed and the way the cap is sewn, all the lines are covered up. If you have a ruler that makes 1.5 inches easy, use that. Otherwise, use some masking tape or something to modify a ruler or just cut a straight edge that is 1.5 inches wide. Then you can just lay it down and draw and you don't have to measure each time. All markings are made on the wrong side of the fabric. Stack up the cap tops and go ahead and draw that line for the elastic or bias tape sleeve on the cap pieces. On the giant trapezoid slash almost rectangle pieces, draw the 1.5 inch line on each of the little ends, then pick up each trapezoid, shorter side on the bottom, and mark the 1.5 inch line all the way across. To speed up marking the attachment points for the ribbons, mark the points on a long piece of paper, or just measure the points on one piece of fabric and then line up the rest of the pieces over it and mark on each one. Again, using this template saves you from having to measure each time and saves a lot of time. Now on to iron o -rama. Fold over the sleeves for the elastic on the caps. Just do the whole pile. For the trapezoids, I found doing the whole ironing job for each one moved things along best for me. If you want to iron the double folded short ends and then go back and do the bottom sleeve fold and top edge fold over as two batches, that's fine. Whichever one works best for you. Anyway, you'll end up with a pile of tops and sides all ready to go. Let's get sewing. First, cut your elastic and bias tape ribbons and get all of the ends finished that you need finished. The elastic pieces should be about two and a half inches long. Just cut the first one by measuring and then use it to measure all the rest. That'll save a lot of time measuring. Same with the bias tape. And if you have no elastic at this point, a 13 inch piece of bias tape can fill in. The other two ribbons need to be 15 and a half inches long. For the 13 inch elastic replacement bias tape, you'll need to finish both ends. For the ribbons on the side, you'll only need to finish one end. To finish the ends, I do this little triangle foldy any trick where you open up the end, push in the middle, fold it over, and then sew it over. Or you can just fold it over twice to cover the raw edge. However you do it, here's how to sew over the ends of mountains of bias strips faster and using less thread. I know I've seen it somewhere, but since I've never really done high volume sewing, I'd never done it until now. So sew the first one the way you normally would, but don't detach it. Just move it back a little way. Sew the next one and the next one and the next one. As you do them, they will be all attached. When you reach the end, you'll have this whole chain of finished bias tape strips. Then you can just clip them apart. Don't forget to finish the second ends of the 13 inch pieces if you need to use those on the back of your caps. Take just a little time to sort and bunch your bias strips with all the finished ends facing the same way. This will allow you to really get cruising as you go along. 
I found a nice podcast or book on tape in my headphones is a great way to get in the groove while I sew. Anyway, sew down all the sleeves for the elastic on the caps. Then thread in the elastic and sew it down, or if you're having to use a ribbon or a bias tape, go ahead, slide that in, tighten the slip knot for easy adjustment later. Stack them and set them aside. Get out all those trapezoids. Sew each side down. Sew in the ribbons, and this is where having your ribbons all laid out and ready to grab is awesome. Close the long sleeve on the bottom. Stack all these trapezoids up and get out your scissors and snip off that weird little endy that sticks over the top. Now stack your fabric, one rectangle, one cap, one rectangle, one cap, and so on. So you have a few steps left to go and do each step all at once and then move on to the next one. Match the cap and the side together, wrong side to wrong side. Remember we're doing that French seam so we can cover up the raw edge. If you need to pin, this is where you should pin a few, sew a few, pin a few, sew a few. Do that insanely thin seam and work your way through the pile. But I found after about making five of these, if I just line up the two edges and sew, adjust, sew, adjust, I can skip the pinning step. All right, stop, stretch, roll your neck. Go ahead, flip all the caps inside out. Then feel for that raw edge and work your way through the second sewing to get that raw edged closed inside that little sleeve. Flipping each cap as you finish feels pretty good. Now you can make a whole pile of these Buffon style caps. Thanks a lot and good luck.